How's it going? I'm here with another scenario, and as a Red Wings fan, this one really gets to me. I can remember as it unfolded how everybody reacted. This is if Ken Holland did not sign Franz into an extension, and instead signed Marion Hossa, and with the Blackhawks' need for a forward who could score and get things done, uh, they go ahead and sign Franz in. Uh, to a similar deal that uh, he got anyway. So basically, Hosa and Franzen are trading places. As we get this set up, everything looks good. As we get this set up, I want control over the Red Wings and the Blackhawks. And we can see how they respectively do start the season. We can take a look at their lines and just do an overview of the team and then teams I should say and talk about it a little bit I remember at the time the 09 uh, around the end of the 09 season uh, it was announced that Ken Holland had signed Johan Franzen to an extension and I was ecstatic about this uh, Johan Franzen at the time he was a 30 goal scorer he, uh, he'd been doing amazing he was a point per game player that year and uh uh, off there we go so yeah this is how, these are how the lines approximately approximately would look if hosa had stayed with the wings um and everything else happened because if hosa had stayed with the wings, uh with the wings it probably wouldn't have larkin uh and defense uh we probably wouldn't have uh oh god who was it i i forget who there there was another big name guy that we wouldn't have I think he's still in the minors. I think it's uh, Xavier Ouellette. He's one of our top prospects right now. Probably wouldn't have him. And Chicago probably wouldn't have won the Cup in 2010 without Hosa on their team. Uh, even though they had Franzen, who at the time, he was a good goal scorer. But Hosa is a better type of Franzen, if that if that makes sense. But, uh, yep, there's Franzen. Uh, there's all his stats. So, yeah, this is how Chicago's lines would approximately look if they had gotten Franzen instead of Hosa. So that's how everything looks. Uh, I remember at the time of seeing this, I, I was upset when uh, Hosa picked Chicago in 63 million over the wings and 40 to 50 million because that's what it was rumored to be. Um, oh crap, crap. Um, edit lines manually. I forgot to turn off injuries. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, best lines. Stop, 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 stop. That was not good. Um, but yeah. I remember when uh he picked Chicago over Ken Holland's deal. It made me really upset and I was so upset that uh we weren't gonna be able to see Marion Hosa. He scored forty goals with the wings. Uh the last forty goal score in Wings uh history. The last one I should say. Uh, we haven't had that since. He, he, he's a fantastic player. And uh, he, he's had a fantastic career. Uh, personally, I hate Chicago. Just because we've always been... Uh, the Wings have always been divisional rivals with them. Up until uh, uh, we moved to the East. Uh, I was... I've been happy to see his career. But in hindsight... Everybody knows, like, oh, why did Ken Holland pick Franzen over Hosa? At the time, uh, Franzen's deal was an absolute steal. What people also don't realize is he had 13 playoff goals uh, after he signed that extension, which is insane. And Hosa only had uh, 15 points total in the playoffs. And uh, it, it was uh, also shown that the next season he, he was playing with a torn rotator cuff. So... That, that hampered him uh, as a player, obviously. But, uh, I mean, Franzen was still a good goal scorer. He ran into concussions, and it really sucks that concussions have screwed over so many players in the NHL, like Eric Lindros. And, I mean, even today you see Sidney Crosby. He missed like a year and a half because of concussions. And it just sucks how a simple injury like that... Um, can almost ruin a guy's career. Eric Lindros, I don't know how many he had. He had like eight concussions. That's way too many. You got to protect yourself. Franzen, he is 
God, he his career's been ruined by him. I don't know how many he had. I think he's had like five. It's just too many. He's uh, it just it just sucks what he lost because of concussions. But let's take a look at the stats real quick and see how the teams are doing. Detroit uh, Dotsuk's leading with 38 points. Uh, Zetterberg with 35. Where is Hosa at? Hosa's only got 21 points. That's pretty low. That's lower than I thought he'd have, but he is 37. So, I mean, let's cut him some slack here. And if we go over to Chicago, we can see how they are doing along with Franzen. Um, not too bad. Franzen's actually having a... He's already got 20 goals, man. Maybe the Blackhawks should have taken uh, Franzen. He would have had a good career. I can't imagine what he would have done next to uh, Taze and Kane. Though, uh, Franzen in 2010, he was a... Uh, I think he was a 25 goal scorer. I don't remember how many goals he had that year, but he, he was a good goal scorer, and he's doing good in the simulation. Uh, let's take a quick look at the standings, too. Uh, but yeah, it really sucks how many players have lost their career because of uh, concussions. All right, so Chicago's doing better than Detroit. That's not really a surprise but because Chicago's got uh, such a good core group of guys, but I thought Detroit would be doing a little better. Uh, they're, they're still both in playoff spots, so uh, let's continue simulating. I'm not going to make any trades. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But yeah, uh, it, it really sucks what happened. Can't change history, though, in hindsight 2020. So you know everything that happens, uh, whether Holland made a good move or a bad move. Uh, many people see it as a bad move. Personally, um, the Wings wouldn't have... A lot of talent that we have now if he hadn't have made that move so um while we may have not well we may have missed in uh, uh an amazing player in marion hosa i don't think we'd have tatar nyquist uh shahan larkin all our solid core young group of guys like uh mantha and polkin and, and andreas athanasio in the minors if they hadn't of picked Franzen over Hosa. And same thing goes for Chicago. If they had picked, uh, or if the Wings had gotten Hosa, they would have most likely won Franzen because they needed a big forward who could score. And Franzen fit that role. Obviously, he's not as good as Hosa, but still, he would fit that role. And uh, I I know for a fact they wouldn't have Panarin. Uh, they wouldn't have Tevu Teravainen. Uh, they probably... They wouldn't have their, their whole core group of guys. That, that's all I'm going to say. All right. Uh, playoff matchups have been determined. So the Wings did make the playoffs. Um, let's take a quick look at points for Detroit and Chicago. There we go. You know, the Wings' point totals really don't seem to be any different from a normal year. Hosa, 44. Uh, that's how he finished his season. Uh, they don't seem to be any different than what they would normally be just in a normal normal simulation. So I don't know how much Hosa really affected them. Um, Franzen, 48. Wow, he really cooled off in that second half of the season. So 24 and 24 for him. Uh, again, I think he, he's a good goal scorer. And I, he's proving it in, in this. If, as long as he hadn't had his concussions, I don't think he would have been uh, as bad as he is now. Even if he had only had one, uh, he, I think he would have been fine. Uh, Chicago dropped to fifth in the West. And in the East, uh, Detroit took third. So Detroit did really well in the second half. But Chicago not as well in the second half. That's what the playoff three looks like. You got Detroit against Tampa and then L.A. against Chicago. So we're gonna. I'm just going to go ahead and simulate uh, throughout, through the entire playoffs. Not going to slow sim anything. Uh, there we go. Uh, we can just see how the teams did after, and it looks like Detroit's going to lose in the first round, and they do to Tampa Bay. Well, Tampa Bay's got a good team, so, you know, it's not the end of the world there. But, yeah, I I think uh, it was best for both teams that they got who they did. Uh, Ken Holland, uh, this is still considered one of his worst moves, but I think his a bad move by uh in hindsight 
it was a bad move. Uh, it allowed both teams to really grow and become who they are today. Um, I, I, like I said, it helped out both teams uh, in ways that weren't apparent at first. Uh, Chicago and Detroit both lost in the first round. So, you know, Chicago probably wouldn't have won the Cup in 2010. The Wings might have won it in 2010 with Hosa, But they both lost in the first round in 2016. So that's how it would affect them. Now, Nashville swept in the playoffs. So, again, don't take this. Or take this with a grain of salt. NHL 16 is not the perfect simulation engine. This is not exactly how the teams would do. But this is how they would do according to NHL 16. So uh, obviously there's a lot of things that NHL can't take into account. But with that being said. I believe that the Wings and the Blackhawks would still be pretty decent teams. But they wouldn't be as good as they would be if uh, Hosa and Franzen switched places. Now with that being said. I'm glad that we got the uh, that we got Franzen. It's sad to say what's happened to him. I'm happy for Hosa and he's had a great career. And yep, that's about it. <laughs> Not too much else to say. Uh, we saw how it really affected them this season. So yeah, I think that's about it then. So until next time, if you have another scenario that you would like me to do. Uh, just leave it down in the comments. I got a couple more that uh, you guys have already suggested, so I'm working on those right now, uh, and I'll get to those in a bit. But until then, I'll see ya.